Welcome back to Natutsi Sofa Talks, hosted by Design Boom. I'm Lynn Myers from Design Boom, and this week we're live streaming a series of interviews with the designers who've collaborated with Natutsi's latest collection, The Circle of Harmony. For this new collection, Natutsi asked eight different designers to translate the identity of their brand with particular reference to the region of Puglia in the south of Italy. The aim was to create a design blend that mixes the vision and aesthetics of these different eight designers. Earlier today, we spoke to designer Mauro Leparini, and we're back for the second installment with uh, architect and designer Paola Navoni to discuss her Argo collection, which comprises a three-seater sofa, a swivel armchair, and a reclining chaise lounge called Sleeping Argo. <laughs> um, Paola, what inspired the Argo collection? Oh, it's very simple. All my projects start from uh, a meeting. So this time I went back to Puglia and I met uh, again uh, Natuzzi company, which I know since a long time ago. PJ was the first time uh, working with me. It was a uh, funny and nice and very um, energetic kind of uh, exchange. So, um, and then little by little we decide what we want to do. And uh, I always work, focus on the capability, the material, the possibility, the, the craftsman of my counterpart. So, there was a lot to do, a lot to w learn. So I, uh, I designed this sofa. We try, we like. I, I want to have something super soft mm -hmm. because I believe that uh, more and more you want a sofa like a big... Uh, uh, soft bear that uh, wait for you when you go home instead of having a beautifully designed things but you have to sit like that yeah, right. so I'm not sitting like that so <laughs> I want a sofa which is really comfort is the the focus and then this um, Argo came into the picture I admire very much this uh, uh, young gentleman because, uh, you know, he's a part of this. Uh, for me, Natuzzi is like a planet. And it's very interesting uh, the effort that PJ is doing now, try to, um, uh, try to uh, do a project big effort to uh, the, the uh, human being uh, life and you go very near to this planet or this planet try to go down to the real uh, uh, human being life. So it's a big uh, challenge. So I try to give my uh, contribution to the, yeah. challenge, <laughs> to the challenge. And uh, now we see. And when you mention to have the ultimate comfort, did the reclining chaise lounge, sleeping Argo, was that your first idea? Because that's pure comfort. Yes, because uh, this um, kind of uh, uh, moving, sitting, reclining chair is a typical um, product from... Uh, uh, the Natuzzi planet. Mm -hmm. So I want, it was a challenge for me too. I said, I want to take this uh, typical way to build uh, uh, something, build a seat, and try to transform into no shape, uh, uh, pure comfort, uh, uh, like what I normally do. So mm -hmm. I try to push these things and then they were very um, nice and helpful and that's the result. Now we see how many people we like or not. 
this is the always the the bottom line is the, who is going to buy yeah and also you've collaborated with the the different textile the use of by by body textile on your three seater yeah this uh uh, Bori is another uh, boy that I like very much because he does all this uh, mm, experiment on on a material which is just a flat, yeah. a flat uh, element. And then uh, you take this, and then uh, when this flat element join different shape, change completely his own identity, and is uh, very interesting. Yeah. Um, you also have a very recognizable style and many of your projects have gone on to become real design icons. In your opinion, what makes an object an icon? <laughs> I have no idea. I think um, I, uh, you don't wake up in the morning saying, I, I don't wake up in the morning and now what I'm going to do, I design an icon. <laughs> Uh, again, everything starts with a meeting with uh, with a client, and they work for my client. Sometimes the result of this collaboration is very successful. Uh, so those um, results start to go around the world, and then uh, uh, sometimes uh, become very very successful. And then uh, people start to say, "This is an icon." I I have some product that are very old and they still sell every year more and more. So I think um, also because I try to design things that they are not, they are very friendly. I mean, they come in your, your house or in somebody has, they are not um, disturbing your mm -hmm. environment. And also you can change very often. You can change the the cover you can change so sure. from summer to winter or I, I like when people buy and uh, this is bad but I, <laughs> I like when people buy and then they go home and they try to to do something different uh, I know they write on the <laughs> ladder or, I, I do that with my clothes but See, I have a socks that I cut. Oh, wow. <laughs> I buy and then I go home with a scissor, uh, which is not very, very, um, very good to say. But uh, I think uh, having something in your house, which is yours, mm -hmm. I think is important. Yeah. Uni uh, unique elements are important. And that discussion go probably to... Uh, the idea of craft. I'm very uh, fascinated, I'm very concerned um, with the word of uh, craft. I think when uh, the hand of a person work in a product, also many, many products, I was working in Southeast Asia, uh, big factory work in craft. I mean, thousands of people do the same work by hand. But this is, this is very uh, charming, very interesting, very important for me because the result, also if it's a, is the same, but it's never exactly the same. So when you choose this element, it's your element. You can feel that I, I like uh, all the center of production. I also like factory. But uh, when the, the men work, leave some kind of tracha, some uh, um, sign, I think is uh, very important. I try to promote also um, uh, imperfection. I think imperfection are not, for the industry, are probably bad. But I think there is a way also for the industry to learn how to appreciate imperfection. Sure. You know? Yeah. Um, all these beautiful things are done with perfect leather. Yeah. But the cow are not 
all perfect. True. So very maybe true. one day I can convince uh, uh, our friend uh, PJ to let me work with the leather, which is probably you know broken here or has a little hole somewhere else. Yeah. Why not? Show the code. I think the, every human being is different. Uh, maybe uh, I have a pimple and that doesn't mean I'm ugly or whatever. I think um, imperfection is uh, part of the uh, future somehow. I think that's a great point. I think we're too used to having things perfect. Mm. And it brings me perfectly to my next question. <laughs> uh, um, obviously, a, co a passion for you is craftsmanship. And you've uh, kind of already answered this, but I want to ask you, as you are someone who pays huge attention to materials and their processing, is it true, as someone once said, that hands are still the best tool to build excellent products? Uh, I'm a little bit a bulimic person, so I don't want to cut out from my world the possibility to produce in an industrial system. So I think uh, you can have a kind of perfection in a, in a craft uh, world, and this perfection probably has in, inside... Uh, some imperfection which make the output more interesting exactly for that but also industrial processes are um, interesting and also I have to say a lot of the in our world a lot of uh, the products are still uh, a lot done by hand mm -hmm. so there is a, in Italy this very special uh, kind of uh, worker, which they, we, they have a very special sensitivity for what they do. This is very rare. I, I, I work uh, in Southeast Asia and uh, somehow... Uh, for some other technique, for some other material, I found the same. But uh, many other countries not. So it's important for uh, for the company to have to take care of these people because they're going to disappear <laughs> if nobody, you know, True. make them happy. Um, now we have some questions from. Um, our Instagram users, both on the Tootsie and Design Boom. More feeds. difficult question. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, the first question from our, a user is, what are the color trends when it comes to sofas right now? I think we, long time ago, we stopped to talk about trend, you know. <laughs> We are in the world where all the trends can live together can, or can fight together or can exist. So it's very personal. I, I, don't, I cannot give an answer to this question. My answer is uh, I really promote the freedom. People have to be free to like what they want. Mm. And uh, also to change idea. Okay, good answer. Um, the next question, as a designer, what qualities do you value most? Mm. All my products have, uh, I want, always want to have Friendly staff who enter your house, you don't wake up in the morning, you have to deal with a special chair. <laughs> so you have to be relaxed. So uh, by saying that, I'm, I, I'm an optimistic person, so I try to do things that bring the, bring the mood of the people up. And uh, comfort, mm -hmm. of course, comfort. Yeah. Uh, 
But comfort is also something very flexible because it can be a mental comfort to have a chair which is impossible to sit, but you love so much that, you know, you want to have it. Um, so, unique, un, uh, unique piece is uh, mm -hmm. something that um, I like to give a chance of second third life to stuff. So I go to flea market uh, constantly. I buy uh, things. I bring home. I collect objects. And all these objects somehow live together in my house, which is a special, special kind of warehouse. But a lot of seat. Everybody can sit and, you know. On unique pieces. Yeah, unique piece is, uh, yeah, or I made unique my own, uh, a chair that nobody won. I cover with something very mm. strange. I paint. I have uh, something that I also paint. Um, is there anything special that you want your design to communicate? I don't want my design to disturb people. To, to be, um, how can I say, to, my English is not very good. Maybe you can help. Mm -hmm. to, I don't like things that give you the problem uh, that you need to deal with something. That something is, in harmony uh, with you. Yeah, to com complicate what I do. And then mm -hmm. maybe for myself, I buy crazy things that I really, <laughs> I really have to. You do the opposite. Yes. Um, and the last question from our Instagram users, what do you find the most rewarding in your work as a designer? Oh, when I make my, much, a lot of money. <laughs> Why not? Great honesty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, Paula. That was thank a great you. way to end. Um, and thank you very much for joining us for the first day of Natuzzi Sofa Talks, hosted by Design Boom. We'll be back tomorrow with Claudio Bellini and Fabio Novembre. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Ciao.